take me up and hold me gently. I can honestly tell you we never uh, imagined, certainly on the film, that the film would be as successful as it was. And of course, looking back now, it's quite astonishing that the first time we ever showed the film to an audience uh, was at the Cannes Film Festival, and that's when, uh, by chance, Elton John uh, came to see it. And the first conversations about turning this into a musical uh, were that very night. The film just came on and I was carried away by it. It just took me on a journey that I found so similar to my own. It took us some years before that idea really settled down and Elton was very persistent. And then of course he wrote this wonderful musical. Electricity. Instead of writing the book, which is the script of the musical, I decided to write the songs with Elton first. And, and weirdly, most of the songs were the, f the first lyrics I wrote. We didn't go back and change them. And they were the first music musical melodies that Elton came up with. I had to write songs for minors. I had to write songs for the grandmother, for the mother, who doesn't really feature in the movie. So there was far more scope um, to write for the characters than there was in the film. It was a piece of cake, to be honest with you, because it was such a great, great story. I think, to be honest, that the story has found its natural home. I think that it works much better in the, in the theatre live than it does you know, even on screen. The secret of the success of the show is the billies. Just the idea of seeing these kids in real time dancing to the edge of their ability. You can really feel the audience's excitement of knowing that that child is doing something really quite extraordinary live right there before you. The great thing for us, the whole directorial and dance team, is the show is always alive because of the kids. We never get bored of it. It's always a huge and wonderful journey for us. Where light shines again.